I think Arabit is doing a great job in helping us collaborating with other people. Just like the entire internet, Arabit is worldwide. Especially for us being in this very small city in Germany, it has enabled us to not only sell our tracks to everybody in the world, but to really collaborate, build relationships and create songs with these artists from all over the world. We have sold beats to people in 40 different countries that wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for Arabit. Dope boys we found online and we found out that they were going to be at the producer showcase. Managed to speak with them, everything. I bought some tracks from them um, and yeah, just been working through that. I think I've got about eight at the moment, so I'm just in the studio working through them. But yeah, Dope boys are really cool, man. When we met them, they were so humble and they were they were equally as sort of excited that we had come down to see them. Um, so I think for them it was inspiring that you know people are hearing their stuff. I'm definitely going to be working with the Dope boys some more because they're what they're producing is just, it's just, it's really good. During our career, we've been approached quite a few times from other people who wanted to collaborate with us. And at some point, it's just gotten to a level where we just couldn't keep up with it. Selling drum kits or sample packs is a good way to collaborate with these people, even though you're not in the same studio. You get to know a lot of producers that you wouldn't get to know without, like, selling these you know so that way we've collaborated with people like Kato the producer I saw him flipping one of the joints I know Epic the Dawn used a bunch of our samples I know the artist used the samples dream life beats DG beats you know a, a bunch of people that um, make dope music and that we can't be with in the studio because they live in the States or you know at some other part of the world I met the dope boys at the producer panel yeah, we just kicked it off from there and just had a combo. Basically led to a little collaboration. I just went on and flipped uh, the samples that one of the samples that they had. And they're great, they're great guys as well. So uh, thanks again, dope boys, thank you. <laughs> I think it just makes sense for Airbit and Instros only to team up because they are both four producers. And for us personally, the experience in London back at the Instros only event was Awesome. It was so good, so inspiring. Everyone was really supportive of each other. The panel was great, having Elmine and Jay Hedge over there. Just the whole atmosphere of having like-minded people in one room speaking about music made you feel less of a nerd <laughs> because everybody around you was kind of came from a common place, sort of. Yeah. Without Arabic, we wouldn't know about this was all the event. We always wanted to be in like a battle situation yeah. so it's just a, a great experience to be in front of people and hear your music on these big speakers it just gives you that adrenaline it was it was just a great experience and we'll definitely be back for another one we had the uh, Insta Sony producer huddle. A lot of producers came down to showcase their beats. In terms of the showcase, which is also managed by Insta Sony, I won it and uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm still a bit shocked about it, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna be flying to ATL. I'll take part in another producer showcase, which is called uh, Beast of the Beats. That ticket is sponsored by Airbit. Thank you for that. <laughs>